welcome to my channel if you're new special welcome and if you like mommy lifestyle videos don't forget to subscribe down below and today I want to share with you guys my two-week weight symptoms before I had my big fat positive pregnancy test so I will be looking down at my notebook and I wrote it down from my app so every day in my app if I had a symptom I write it down and I wrote it down all in my notebook so I don't have to scroll through all the days to see if I had a symptom that day or not so on ovulation day <clears throat> excuse me I had just some back ache at night and then at I'll just say one two I won't say one DPO two DPO but if you if I say a number that means DPO <clears throat> sorry who something this morning so one I had nothing two I had nothing three I had a headache I felt very bloated, I had sensitive stomach, um, I was actually moody and irritating, so I had a lot of symptoms that day. Um, for DPO, I was super tired, didn't want to do anything, <coughs> oh gosh, um, and then four, that was four, um, five, I had a headache and a backache, six, I had nothing. Seven, I had back ache all day. Eight, DPO, I had nothing. Nine, um, so we were out and about all day. And we were driving and I had such a heightened sense of smell. Like I couldn't breathe. I smell a little bit of weed and I'm like, oh, gross. It smells so terrible. And my husband's like, what I'm like you can't smell the weed and he's like no no and then he's like oh maybe now i can smell it and it felt it smelled so strong for me that was 90 po that was so strong for me like i felt like i couldn't even breathe i'm like turn on the fan open up the window like drive from that smell um <clears throat> i had a very sensitive stomach um in my lower abdomen area um, very very little mild cramping just a little time just I don't know maybe a few minutes um, and I did notice that I had increased to the bathroom so I went to the bathroom more often it was like not crazy amount more often where i couldn't go to the bathroom every five minutes or so i needed to go to the bathroom every five minutes it was just like more often like and i went to my sister's on sunday which was 11 dpo um and i went to her i went to the bathroom like three times while i was there and she kind of noticed that but she didn't tell me anything and that's usually unusual for me. I usually would never go to a bathroom at somebody's place or maybe once, but usually I wouldn't because I don't need to. Okay, um, let's see. So that day at 9 DPO, I had a feeling for some reason, like, you know, with the heightened sense of smell and like lower ab abdominal um, sensitivity and um, cramping, I felt I, I thought I was pregnant but I pushed those feelings away because I didn't want to get my hopes up and then be again um, really sad that I'm not so I tried to not pay attention too much I would write them the symptoms down but I would try not to to dwell on them and see yes I'm pregnant and then get a negative uh, 10 DPO, I had backache and I was moody. 11, nothing. 12 DPO is when I tested. I had backache half through the day towards lunchtime to the end of the day and mild cramping like 
they didn't really feel like cramping it was just more like a sensitive lower area stomach where I felt like something was going on and 13 GPO I think it was which was Tuesday I had a little bit of backache and 14 DPO was good I didn't have anything at all and today I think I am 15 DPO let's see Monday was 12 12 13 14 15 yeah I am 15 DPO today and so far I feel great um, I'm, I've been pretty surprised but I am pretty early um, but I will be also doing a video four to five week symptoms four or five weeks pregnancy symptoms and just um, an update how my pregnancy is going but yeah that were all of my symptoms during the two week wait that I did not know I was pregnant before I got my big fat positive and when I tested um, it was it was you could clearly see like I had a very very bright colored pink positive like you could not miss it you could not mistaken that I was pregnant um, and yeah like I don't know I really thought that I wouldn't be pregnant this month um, it was very very mild symptoms you know I all the symptoms I said it sounds like a lot but throughout the day like you know, it's like oh my lower back hurts a little bit and then it's gone um, oh you know my lower abdominal is being a bit sensitive and then later it's gone you know it's just here and there little things that when you're busy and when you're doing things it doesn't seem like a big deal like not like boom I'm super nauseous or boom like I can smell everything and I'm nauseous from it no nothing like that it was very little and um, the heightened smell I got very few times it's not like every single time I have noticed on some other stuff that um, when my son poops in his diaper um, I can't stand it anymore I'm like ooh, like I can smell it across the room um, and also one day I had a weird my taste buds were just so weird we were eating salad and my husband's parents were over I think it was the day we found out we were pregnant and I asked my husband I was like does the salad sweet taste sweet ugh, sorry does the salad taste sweet to you and he's like no does this taste sweet to your parents I'm like no I'm like oh okay and in my mind I'm like this salad tastes way too sweet for me a salad I don't know what was going on with my taste buds but that salad tasted really sweet and I didn't put anything sweet it was just a normal salad so yeah that was really weird for me um, but yeah I think that is all and hope whoever is watching either trying to get pregnant or in the two week wait um, in the two week wait period um, I wish you guys luck and thank you for watching this video see you till next time bye